Horn. I am a field operations mechanic. So anytime a customer calls in a gas leak, we're the first one to show up. Anytime a contractor hits a gas service or anything, we are the first one that shows up on site. We do the initial investigation and then figure out where it goes from there. Your field operations mechanics actually start from their driveway. We take our trucks home with us. So we literally log in right on our truck, um, kind of check out our day. We have our tickets in our truck and everything, scroll through them, kind of see they have everything pretty much laid out for us. We have a new click system that actually drops them in. So it pretty much routes us actually more efficiently. If we start out, you might have like, you know, a couple turn-ons where we go, we get the customer set up, turn their gas on, get all their appliances checked, get them lit, make sure everything is safe, and then we move on to the next one. Um, a typical day, then you have a leak that gets thrown in there, somebody smells gas, you go, you know, introduce yourself, make sure everything's safe for them. You come in, check out their entire house, appliances, pipes, everything. Then you either tell them what they need to fix, or if it's on our end, we will actually fix it for them and then ensure their safety and then move on to the next one. I like the customer interaction. Um, you know, you get people that call in gas leaks. They're, they're terrified. You show up there, you just ensure that everything's gonna be okay. I'm here, you know, we're gonna make sure everything's fine. You get there, you check it all out, and you just ensure that they're safe. That's the part I like, is just when the customer just looks at you and just says, thank you. It's just, that's like the most like rewarding thing ever. I did meter reading for two years before I promoted up to um, the field operations mechanic. We did our training between the training center and in the field for about nine months. Then we certify and then we get sent out on our own. We have a great program here. We job shadow. So anybody in NICOR that wants to look into taking a promotion, you can go with another department and actually job shadow them which is nice because you get to see the actual aspect of the job. You're not reading a job description, you're going with them, you're watching them do the actual job, perform the job, and you get a great wide variety of what their job entails. So me being female, is, it is not seen very often in my job. Um, and you know, I hear it all the time, like I just wasn't expecting a girl or someone will be talking to their spouse on the phone and they're just like, yeah, the NICOR girl is here. And they're just like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I am. And I get out with my two big wrenches and they're just like, you're gonna fix this? I'm like, I am. And they will sit there and literally watch me and I've gotten so many compliments. They're just like, I just wouldn't have believed it. And I'm just like, well, why not? I'm like, they supply me with everything I need to fix this stuff. So it's, it's fun every day to deal with it. But you know, as for like my coworkers and everything, I'm just one of them. That's, that's how we do it. We get, we get in, we get the job done and we ensure everybody's safe and we move on to the next one. My advice to women, is to definitely try, don't stop. There's no limit to what you can do. And NICOR encourages everything that you can do. They help push you, they help promote you. They're gonna give you all the tools and everything to help you succeed. They're not gonna tell you no, you can't do it because you're female. 